President Lai Qingde received the first U.S. congressional delegation of his term on Monday. The group was led by House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Michael McCall, who sharply criticized China's recent exercises surrounding Taiwan. Lai thanked the U.S. for support, and he said he drew inspiration from former U.S. President Ronald Reagan's policy of peace through strength. Just a week into his term, President Lai Qingde received his first delegation from the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Michael McCall, appointed by U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson, congratulated Taiwan's new president. You are the first U.S. congressional delegation to visit since my inauguration. Your visit demonstrates your support for the new government and the people of Taiwan. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to you all. Woman I, Taiwan. <laughs> McCall's delegation will be in Taiwan until May 30th. The group includes subcommittee on the Indo-Pacific Chair Yang Kim, Congressional Taiwan Caucus Co-Chair Andy Barr, House Republican Joe Wilson, and House Democrats Chrissy Houlihan and Jimmy Panetta. The delegation includes members of Foreign Affairs and National Security Committees, making the visit especially significant. According to U.S. media, the delegation discussed matters including an 8 billion U.S. dollar military aid package for Taiwan and ways to address delays in arms deliveries. Earlier, China's foreign ministry protested against McCall's visit, saying that the U.S. would suffer consequences. Yet McCall remained undeterred. On Monday, he strongly criticized China's military exercises around Taiwan. Demonstrating that they are not interested in taking Taiwan by peaceful means as agreed to in the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979. For all democracies must stand together against aggression and tyranny. Whether it's Putin in Russia, the Ayatollah in Iran, or Chairman Xi next door to us in China. An unholy alliance is eroding peace around the world. And not since World War II, my father's war, have we seen such blatant violence and naked aggression. McCall said the U.S. remained committed to the Taiwan Relations Act and the Six Assurances. We must make sure that no one in their right mind would try to upset and upset the peace that lets you thrive. America is and always will be a reliable partner, and no amount of coercion or intimidation will slow down or stop the routine visits by the Congress to Taiwan. I admire former U.S. President Ronald Reagan's policy of peace through strength. As such, I will promote defense reforms to enhance our national defense capabilities and show the world the Taiwanese people's resolve to defend our homeland. Following large-scale PLA exercises around Taiwan, the U.S. Congress is expressing support for Taiwan, reaffirming the rock-solid ties between the two nations.